Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video for the channel. I'm um, sorry I have not been uploading a lot recently, shorts as well, definitely videos, but it's because I was in Italy, I just came back from my trip. See, that is unfortunately when the Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer dropped during my trip, so I couldn't really do a reaction or trailer breakdown during the time when it like first released. I just came back yesterday, depending on when this is being watched. But um, yeah, I'm gonna now do the trailer breakdown. I saw the trailer already, I kind of had to, I couldn't wait two weeks, but um, yeah, I'm back now, so let's watch the trailer first, then do the trailer breakdown. If you haven't seen the trailer already, what are you doing? It's, it's amazing. Oh, here we go, here we go. My bad, I have it on super slow speed. It was for the thumbnail. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Okay, looks pretty good. Rats in the vents. I was about to pause it, but just gotta watch it first, then pause and do the trailer breakdown. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, that song is, like, actually, it's not originally from FNAF, it's from a different, like, it was from an original, I'll tell you later, I can't really explain it right now. Foxy. Nice. <laughs> Spring Bonnie. Ow, I just hit my funny bone. That's how I feel right now. Corey Kenshin! Oh! Golden Freddy, Corey Kenshin, okay, yeah. Okay, hold up real quick. Um, I just hit my funny bone on the back of my chair. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, time to break down that trailer. Ah. Okay. Set so back straight to the beginning from right here. So, I, I'm guessing this is Mike's car, driving right down the road. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offer is so, still available. So, okay. So, here, William Afton. He's currently going by the name Steve Raglin. I can't put it in full screen, by the way. That'll ruin my webcam. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so Steve Raglin. So, apparently, Steve Raglin is like a code name for something something like everlasting like e v e r l a s t and then i n g or something i don't know what the i is though but something like that everlasting which in the cast he's actually william afton it's just that he's going by a different name like in the books in the books he goes by the name dave miller just as like so he doesn't have to reveal his actual name. And Everlasting is important because it shows, like, I always come back. That's, like, Springtrap, Willem Afton's main, like, catchphrase and stuff. Yes. The security. It's a notice... 
What does that say? This is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. Oh, that. Oh, I saw it for a sec. So, okay, yeah, that's like a noted of note noted notice of eviction, right? This is a notice of something like that. I saw it for a second. So I guess, like, he's not paying his bills and stuff, and if he doesn't do that, he's gonna, like, get kicked out of the house. Yep. The security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. Closed. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. That's very nice. I will work, and you will sleep. I understand. So that's his sister. I'm guessing this, I don't know, I don't know if... This is any. This means anything, but like, since she's holding, it's like she's holding a teddy bear and like Freddy Fazbear. I don't know. So, it's entering the pizzeria, I guess. Got a key. Employees only. Okay, yeah, I know that. It's from the teaser. Okay, so some like stain, like glass panes or something. Foxy. Oh wait, did you see that? Okay, I paused it at the perfect moment. But, like, you saw Foxy there, and when the light left, he he's, like, not there anymore. He's gone. From the producer of Megan. Okay, so here's something you guys probably didn't know. If you knew it already, then... I don't know. But see this wall right here, like, Employees of the Month? There are actually a whole bunch of YouTubers on there. So I think a few are influencers and stuff. I know this one is Daco. This one is 8 Ryan. Um, I think this one is Baz. I don't know. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. So he's turning on the. Yep, they got the, got the celebrate poster, the fan, the cup. So the ad we saw in the teaser. Okay. Who's this? Oh, that's probably Vanessa. See, see, okay. So people are saying like this is Vanessa, and people are saying it's the Vanessa from Security Breach. I feel like it's just not. I feel like it's somebody with the same name because Security Breach takes place way, 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 way after FNAF One, like, like at least thirty years. Like honestly, like way, 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 way after. So it should be like different no, it's yeah it's definitely it's a different person just named yeah. Vanessa I think that's what I think it is <laughs> I need to see that again cool shot of the animatronics some drawings yeah those are some nice shots felt fell asleep oh geez so he looks okay obviously i'm guessing that's very loud it's playing on the speakers and stuff hold up oh jesus i just moved my table hold up a minute my dad is on the phone he's just yelling <laughs> all right so prize counter let's eat that's the kitchen i'm guessing I wonder if we get to see the kitchen in this movie, actually, because um, in the games, the kitchen camera is 100% disabled. So these are the Sanshi plushies, not the Funko plushies. The animatronics look so good, honestly. Um, I saw this meme where it's like, since the FNAF movie animatronics were actual real animatronics, the person who watches the set at night just like flipping the cameras and stuff. That's a funny meme I saw. But that's really cool how they made Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Blows my mind, honestly. Yeah, that's... It's not the exact shot from the game, but that's as close as you're gonna get. Because that is really good. That's a nice shot of Foxy. Wait, did he... Did he move? I don't know, I thought he moved. 
So that's somebody's hand. I'm guessing it was the previous night guard from like the teaser trailer, the one who was screaming and stuff. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? So that looked like Chica, maybe? I never found them. Yeah, no, that's Freddy. That's why that's so these people. Alright, so, these people here, this is Carl, this is Hank, and I guess this is, I'm thinking this is Max, Maxine, whatever her name is, I'm not 100% sure who this person is right here, but, uh, so I think they're gonna do, like, what they did with the movie Willy's Wonderland, where it's like, the main, it, the main protagonist, then a whole bunch of other people just come in, like the teenagers, and then they just kind of, like, try to trash the place and destroy it. Because he has a baseball bat. This guy here has something. So I'm guessing that's what they're trying to do. But I'm, I'm like, 99% sure everybody here is going to die. Yeah, look, there's Hank. Which I'm confused about. Because Hank is, like, I guess another name for Henry. And in the games, Henry is um, William Afton's, like, I guess, friend. He helped create freddy fazbear's pizza so i'm confused why they would kill him because it looks like he dies here yeah another thing um you see this this shot right here makes me think the movie's pg-13 you know why because um it's it's an off-screen kill most pg-13 movies have an off-screen kill there are ghost children possessing giant robots so that's obviously foxy the ghost child <laughs> Yep. That was from the teaser. Oh, that was a good shot of Foxy. That was terrifying. If I could... No, you saw it for a sec. So, they changed the red eyes. They made them more like a yellowish color. Because fans were complaining about the red eyes. I mean, maybe they're still in the movie somewhere else, but who knows. Probably not. They want to make her like them. Oh, okay, so here's Fox. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Abby is right here. So I'm guessing she was looking at the photos, or the drawings, and then Foxy snuck up behind her. And then, yeah, Mike sees Foxy right behind Abby, and that's in this scene. Ooh, Carl the Cupcake. I'm confused on this part. Like, what is, what is this? I don't think this is the pizzeria. This is definitely not the pizzeria. So this is Max. Max, Maxine, Max. Looking into Freddy's mouth. A hand comes out. Another reason I think this is going to be PG-13. Because of this off-screen kill. Also, this is supposed to be a, a direct reference to the Huluween short film, The Hug. Where, like... I'll leave a link to it in the description, but, like, at the end, like, the evil animatronic, like, a hand comes out of its mouth, like, a hand of a kid comes out of its mouth, like, right at the guy staring in front of the mouth. So that was supposed to be, I'm guessing, a direct reference to the hug. Again, I'll leave a link to it in the description. See, I'm kind of mixed on this right here, if I could get to it. This. So, a lot of people saying this is Foxy, and I agree, but... This also could be Endo 01. I mean, that's maybe a bit, like, might be a bit weird to think that's Endo 01, but I think it is. Like, okay, I'm not saying I think it is. I do think it's Foxy, but it could be Endo 01. It's too late. That's, like, my favorite shot of the whole trailer, that shot of Freddy. I love it. Oh, here we go. We got Spring Bonnie. All right. So, a lot of people I've seen are saying this is Springtrap. I do not think that. Because you could hear the humming. That is definitely um, Matthew Lillard, William Afton's humming. Also, that suit looks it looks a bit too fresh to be uh, Springtrap, which takes place, like, a, a long time after. And so, that's Garrett, uh, Mike's youngest brother? I'm confused here. This might be a ghost, because... He's supposed to be the crying child, the one who got the bite of 83. That's a cool shot, too. Yeah, I, I said this in my previous trailer breakdown for the teaser trailer. 
like Chica, it's not bad, but like something about her looks just different. I don't I can't tell what it is though. Okay. Okay, so real quick, this is obviously Vanessa. For a second I thought it was like the crying child and like the head was wrapped in bandages and stuff because of the accident. No, it's not. This is Vanessa. Um I'm guessing Afton got her or something. Um, this, this is definitely a woman. I've seen people theorize that this is Vanessa because of the next sh scene she's in the hospital. But I don't think it is. Vanessa is more likely to get hurt in the pizzeria. And this is definitely not in the pizzeria. This is in some type of house. Probably Mike's house. This is probably Mike's mom, foster mom. It, depending, like, if he's related to William Afton in this movie. So this is, like, we got a leaked scene from, like, somebody recording the set photos and stuff. Like, something, something like that. Where somebody was getting punched in a water fountain at the mall. This seems to be that scene. I don't know who that is. So, Mike just came out of the vents. I'm guessing this right here was supposed to be a, um... I'm guessing something like, um, what's the word? A reference to sister location where you crawl through the vents and pizzeria simulator where you do the same. There's he is! Spring Bonnie! Maybe Springtrap? I don't think it's Springtrap though. I, here, I don't think it's Springtrap because I still think the suit looks too yellow to be Springtrap. Also, um, this right here. You see this? The knife here? It's Springtrap. He wouldn't he would never use a knife. He has Springtrap is like two forces combined. He has the force of a human and the force of a robot animatronic. He doesn't need to use a knife. And again, like I said before, it's the humming is definitely Matthew Lillard's William Afton's humming. So I don't think this is Springtrap. I think this is William Afton in a suit. And he was like Maybe on, like, night five or something. He was like, let's pay them a visit or something like that. And then he gets in his spring bonnie suit on night five, goes into the pizzeria and starts terrorizing them, trying to kill them. I do think he gets spring-locked in this movie, though. So Mike seems to have been stabbed. All right. Again, I've said this before. I'll say it again. This, I don't think, is Mike. This is not, I would not say this is Josh Hutcherson's neck or chin. Jawline at all. This is the previous security guard, because this does not look like Josh Hutcherson at all. That is, of course, but. And then we got that sweet logo. Ooh, it looks amazing. Love it. Corey Kenshin, yes! Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. He's a YouTuber. Um... He's in now in the FNAF movie. Super sweet cameo. Probably, if Markiplier's in this, I don't know. That's going to be like, this cameo and that cameo. I don't know. Two. That's definitely Golden Freddy. Alright, so. I have no idea how this works. Um, How is he in the car? I don't know. Unless he's just a head, but I don't think so, because you can see, like, the rest of his body here. I don't know how it works at all. He is huge. How is he fitting in that car? I, I don't understand. But he is obviously good because of the blue eyes, the standard thing we do in Hollywood all the time. He looks very withered. He looks more like, he looks like a cross between Withered Golden Freddy and regular Golden Freddy. Like that. In theaters and Peacock, October 27th. Ah, oh, this movie, man. This movie! Yep, that's it. I approve! Alright, that was my trailer breakdown of this movie. Right. Also, here's, like, the third reason, one last reason why I think this movie is PG-13. If I could find it here. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Fumblum House. The kids. They shut it 
down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Uh, where is it? Right here. Alright, so this is kind of probably the stupidest reason, but it's I'm going to count it as a reason why I think the boot is PG-13. See, Blumhouse Studios has made a thousand great movies. Like, so many good movies. And Megan was their latest hit, but it was PG-13. And of all their... All their success, all their other movies that are rated R, they choose Megan, which is a PG-13 movie. Again, that's probably my worst reason why it could be the PG-13, but... And yeah, that's the... That was my trailer breakdown for Five Nights at Freddy's official full-length trailer. Um... I am just so happy, honestly. I can't wait till this movie comes out. When it comes out, if it is... Um, anyway. Uh, if it's not rated R, then I will definitely watch the movie, thousand per- thousand percent, and I will give you a review. Oh man, I can't wait. I so can't wait. I so, like... I cannot wait till this movie comes out, man. Like, I'm so happy. Alright, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great... No, yeah, have a great day. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Bye.